Welcome to Get Cooking in Cloud, where we share the best recipes to apply in your cloud kitchen. I am Priyanka. And I'm Jenny. And in this episode, we'll be making a loaf of gluten-free bread. Yes, we will. There's a lot going on in this recipe that we will need to pay attention to, keeping ingredients separate from the allergens, keeping ingredients separate from each other, and making sure our space is allergen-free. Much like with cloud security, we need to keep things safe from external threats and even from mixing internally before it's appropriate. Dinner Winner is an application that collects recipe submissions from users all over the world and posts regular winning recipes for everyone to enjoy. The recipe submissions need to be assessed for clarity and then scrubbed for any identifiable information before they are sent on to judging. The anonymous judging takes place, after which winners are contacted and their recipes are posted to the application. Submitted recipes can't mix with reviewed recipes due to the potential private information from contestants, so it's critical to uphold that separation. Just like with creating gluten-free recipes, it's important to not only have gluten-free ingredients, but a gluten-free space as well. Exactly. Our recipe is simple, but this situation is complicated. And for Dinner Winner, due to the high number of submission, that's a lot to handle. Do we need a dedicated facility or just a strict cleaning policy? Well, it depends. Let's see how their system works today. During the competition times, users upload their recipe in the text format. These recipes get stored in blob storage, from where they're pretty manually checked for private information like emails and phone numbers of participants. This private information is then removed before sending to the judges to vote. The winning recipe then makes it on the platform for everyone to see. The problem with it, well, there's a lot of problems with this arrangement. One, because this is a manual process with a ton of volume, this system will scale badly. But the biggest problem here is security. It's difficult to know what's been reviewed and what's been updated and what still has private information in it. What if just one recipe submission gets accidentally shared with the judges with the contestant's name and contact information? This will potentially make the contest unfair and can lead to brand damage for dinner winner, which sounds like a losing situation. And since Dinner Loser doesn't have the same ring to it, let's make sure they can keep their recipes clean of personal information, just as we need to keep this surface clean of gluten. Just like Dinner Winner, in every organization, data protection officers like you face an ever-increasing amount of data, data that must be protected and treated appropriately. Quarantining and classifying that data can be complicated and time-consuming, especially given hundreds or thousands of files a day. And what if you could take each file, upload it to a quarantine location, and have it automatically classified and then moved to the appropriate location based on the classification result? In the next few episodes, we will show you how to implement such a system by using Cloud Functions, Cloud Storage, and the Cloud Data Loss Prevention API. Dinner Winner needs an automated process for sorting submissions and categorizing reviewed submissions. The ingredients, App Engine for front end, Google Cloud Storage to store recipe submission files, pops up for messaging, Cloud Functions for some quick automation in serverless fashion, and the most important ingredient, DLP API to detect private information. Now, let's put this all together and stir it up. <laughs> let's say the front end is an app engine where the user submits the recipe. The user would upload the text file, including the recipe and info types, like the name, date, email, and phone numbers in the web interface. The uploaded file is sent to Google Cloud Storage. This triggers a cloud function to create the data loss prevention job in PubSub. Once the event is received by PubSub, it triggers another cloud function, which calls the DLP API and looks for the confidential information in the recipe files. Once found, it moves the file to a separate storage bucket. If the file does not contain any confidential information, like the info type's email, address, phone number, then the function moves it to another bucket. This request flow keeps the confidential data separate from the non-confidential and is fairly automated, such that as soon as the file hits the cloud storage bucket, all other processes kick off automatically to protect the data. Now that we understand the problem and the use case, we know exactly what needs to be done to implement this solution. And next week, we'll reveal our step-by-step -step plan for Dinner Winner, and maybe we'll even get to that gluten-free bread. <laughs> yeah, but first, we will need to avoid cross-contamination by deep cleaning the kitchen. And since get cleaning with cloud isn't quite what we're going for, we've got some behind-the-scenes work to do. 
While we are at it, don't forget to give us a like, comment and subscribe to learn what you can cook up with the cloud.